Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie Proctor with Beltline Health here in Atlanta, Georgia, and today's topic is hiatal hernia. A lot of you may have heard this term before and, uh, and kind of rolls off. Maybe you hear it in conjunction with people who've had reflux or heartburn. Let's talk about the anatomy of what a hiatal hernia is. We have two portions to our overall torso. We have our chest cavity and we have our abdominal cavity. The border between those two cavities is our diaphragm. Now certain things are gonna to have to pass uh, through the diaphragm to get from top to bottom, such as the esophagus. The hole in the diaphragm where the esophagus passes through is called the esophageal hiatus. And if that hole is a little bit too big, it can lead to problems. So to illustrate this, when I breathe in, I'm expanding my chest cavity, creating a bigger space, and what this does is creates a vacuum so air starts coming down into my chest for me to breathe. So the chest cavity has uh, negative pressure in it. Anytime I tighten my, my abdominal muscles, whether I'm straining, I'm coughing, I'm sneezing, I'm moving in a certain way, I'm creating extra pressure in my abdomen so there's positive pressure down here. Well, now if I have a situation where I have negative pressure in my chest, I have positive pressure down in my abdomen, and that hiatus where the esophagus is passing through, the diaphragm is too large, eventually what's going to start to happen is my stomach's gonna push up through the diaphragm up into my chest. What that does is distorts the normal anatomy of the stomach and can lead to things like esophageal reflux because the normal mechanisms that keep the stuff in the stomach and keep it from going back are now distorted. There are surgical remedies for this. Not everybody with a hiatal hernia needs to have it fixed. Patients who are symptomatic or are having uh, what we call reflux esophagitis or damage to their esophagus, they need to have this addressed. First line of therapy would be to take what we call PPIs, things like protonics or nexium, or things that are gonna knock down the amount of acid your stomach produces to try to uh, lessen the amount of damage that you have in the esophagus. If medications don't work, people are still having breakthrough symptoms that are beginning to have damage to their esophagus despite the use of these medications, that's when we need to start looking towards a surgical remedy. Generally, these remedies are taken care of through a laparoscopic or robotic approach through the small incisions. And what they consist of is dissecting out that opening, dissecting up the esophagus up into the chest so that the stomach will lay down below the diaphragm now and then tightening the uh, diaphragm muscles around the esophagus to try to prevent the stomach from pulling back up there again. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do, please feel free to like and subscribe. Again, I'm Dr. Charlie Proctor with Beltline Health in Atlanta, Georgia. If you're interested in having an appointment with us, please look for us at beltlinehealth.com or you can call us at 470-419-4380.